Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I'm gonna show you how you can do a loop scarf in yellow with a very cool pattern. So my needle size is six millimeters today. And I'll show you how to get this puff effect in a zigzaggy manner, so diagonally if you like. So super pretty and warm, although not too heavy and too thick, which is exactly what I wanted. So something that's easy to wear but still serves its purpose, so it's not too thick due to the spaces in between. And if you want to learn how you can make this yourself, stay tuned and I'll show you how. So here is Scarfy from Lion Brand in this yellow orange color with some white as well. Um, so let's see what we have here. We have 150 grams per 285 meters, 78% acrylic and 22% wool and recommended needle size 4 to 10. So let's get started. Okay, ready? So let's start by doing some chains. I'll do everything really slow so that you can follow easily if you're a beginner. So for now, um, this is gonna be our start. So there we are, and we can now start with some chains. So we have 20, a nice width, but feel free to change that as you like. So we need two more for the height in addition to the 20 we did. So leave them out and one more. So the first three and go into the fourth one from the back and pull the thread once through. Take it around the needle, go through again to have four threads on your needle. And again, go through six. And now we have eight threads on our needle. So that's how we get the puff we want. And we will now close them up all together and pull the thread one more time through. And there's our first puff. So now we can leave one chain out and repeat the same thing. So I'll keep doing it slowly so that you can follow too. And I'll finish the whole row now. So let's start the second row. Again, two for the height. Turn everything around and keep going, but into the backs of the puffs, so in their back parts, in order to get that zigzag effect that we want.
leave this one out and start here. Here the diagonal or zigzag pattern. So I will now finish this row too. Almost done, I have one more to do. Again, two for the height, turn, and then we can go back. And I will do the whole spool now, and you can see the result at the end. Here is our entire spool, so you can see the color changes too, very subtle and gentle. And I really like the gradient, so here we are at the end now. Let me find the thread really quick, and we need the needle through it. And there we are, it's a bit over 120 centimeters, pretty long, but if you want it longer, then you can do one or two pops less. So that means basically less chains because you get less in width, um, but a bit more in length that way. So yeah, by cutting one short, you get the other side a bit longer and vice versa, of course. So I want to connect this now into a loop, but this is purely optional. So I had here another chain for the height, but we don't need that. So let's just pull it out really quick. And then we can start here. So let me show you just a tiny bit of wool left over. So let's now connect it. So through the beginning and end, and that's basically it. Really easy to find the spot where you go through. There we go, the inside, so we can now pull this out and tie a regular knot two times. So we can now weave these in and from the other side it's almost invisible and the colors also fit perfectly. So here is the whole scarf now. I hope you guys like the way this looks. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, if you've maybe used this wool before, if you like it, um, if you like the pattern, if you've tried it out, do you find it difficult or rather easy? So this is meant for beginners, but I'd still love to hear back from you, so your feedback. As you can see, this is pretty elastic and flexible too, which is always cool when you 
you have a scarf. And yeah, thanks for watching DIY ideas. I'll see you in our next project. If you did enjoy, feel free to shoot a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll always stay updated with the new videos. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.